Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and hello if you're new. Make sure that you subscribe before you leave. That way you'll never miss out on another video. I do a free pick a card reading on my channel every single Friday. Okay, the first thing I want to get out of the way is if you hear something in the background that it's my portable heater. I am super cold so I have that on in the back. Um, okay, with that being said, what we're going to do today is be reading what is our psychic gifts. So while everybody is under quarantine, or if you're not under quarantine and you're like working your butt off right now, um, I feel like a lot of us are going through a psychic awakening where we're just awakening ourselves to more and more of our psychic gifts. Um, so I want to dive into what those are. So what I'm going to have you do is pick a card group number, card group number one, or you're going to pick Ganesh, card group number two, or Ganesh Lakshmi and Saraswati, card group number three, which is Shiva, or card group number four, Gali. So go ahead and pick which one you are drawn to, which one really stands out to you and is really calling you in and pulling you towards them. Okay, let's get started with the reading. For everybody that picked card group number one or the Ganesh image, let's go ahead and see what are your psychic gifts? What are your psychic abilities? Um, the first card that I do want to talk about is the Priestess card. How are you being called to step up and lead? Okay, so a lot of you guys, I feel like this, whatever that's going on right now, you know, quarantine, virus, lifestyle changes, it really shook you to the core. It really woke you up to something, um, something that made you take the lead, something that just brought out your strength and your ability to take charge and take initiative and just take control. I really see that your psychic abilities have been activated like around your crown chakra and your third eye chakra because you're just now like getting all of these ideas and like striving hard and also getting inspired to take control and take the lead um so a lot of crown chakra and third eye chakra awakening that's happening for you that has a lot to do with your intuition and you know um manifesting and foreseeing like predicting and like, how do, I, how do I word it? Sensing energy, you know, you see things other people don't see, you can decode things, you can read between the lines. Um, the next card that we have here is falling in love. So another thing that I see is your heart chakra. I really feel like with the colors of the card, it's this whole entire chakra activation that's happening with you. Um, it's just this like awakening kind of a period and that's making your psychic abilities very very amplified and your psychic abilities have a lot to do with your heart chakra and those upper two chakras crown and third so a lot of like you getting ideas and being very sharp in your mind and gaining a lot of mental clarity and mental focus but also you are working from a place of love and there's a lot of healing happening when it comes to love and um yeah, this is really nice. I really like this reading. The next one we have here is forgetting oneself. So, you know, the the parts of you that are psychic that you are activating right now, um, they're kind of um, shutting off your ego because your ego was making you neglect yourself and was your ego was making you live in this lifestyle where you were not taking care of yourself like you're supposed to or like you deserve to. So now um, that your psychic abilities are awakening, um, you're no longer like putting that, put, letting your ego take control. You are now like letting yourself take care of yourself the way you want to um, and that's heightening your psychic abilities even more now the next card we have here is friendliness of number two so here it's saying the seasons are changing so I feel like you're you're becoming awake to your psychic gifts 
because there's phases of your life that are ending. I feel like you have to grow up really, really quickly, learn something really, really quickly. You just took control and you took charge so quick that it's just one phase of your life just ended and now you're on to a new phase. Um, and it's, it's a phase where you are really connecting with yourself and your higher self and your spirit. Um, the next card we have here is existence. You're, you're becoming one with yourself. You, you're kind of tapping into and touching the divine in yourself and getting to know your higher self. And I feel like it's, it is with everything that's going on. You're just awakening to your own strength, to your own power. So a lot of realizations coming in where you see the bigger picture, you see things in a bigger light, you're thinking about things just bigger. Okay, so the next card we have here is Surrender to Joy. So when you feel your psychic abilities growing more and more, you have this ability to not only surrender yourself to joy, but everybody you come in contact with, you, you give off this kind of energy. I can feel it right now. You give off this kind of energy that you just brighten people's day. Your energy lifts their energy. It's so lifting, you know, it's so high vibration and just a very, very beautiful energy that you're awakening um, with, with your psychic abilities, with your intuition, with everything you're going through, everything you're doing. It's awakening such beautiful energies within yourself. Okay, so the next or the last two cards that come up in your reading for group number one, um, let me move these up so you can see it. Voyage of the heart. Love flows through you and to you. Okay, so your psychic abilities have a lot to do with love as well. You can sense love. You can sense genuine love. You know when somebody's being fake with you when it comes to just genuine love. You have the ability to attract things when you feel love and you give love. There's a very strong energy that you give off when it comes to love. Um, so, you know, the more things that you could do that have to do with love, whether it's romantic, self-love, love for animals, whatever, when you do something from a place of love, that's your psychic power. Love, it kind of, it is your superpower. Like, when you do things with love or when you're surrounded by love, you thrive. Um, yeah. Okay, so the last thing is kind of how to gain your um, psychic abilities or amplify it or um, open yourself more to it. And the card that came up for you regarding that was to make an altar. Okay, so I feel like since your psychic abilities have so much to do with love, I feel like you should make a love altar. Now, if you are in a relationship, your love altar can just be a photo of you guys and a candle and a crystal. Like, make it simple. Or, if you want to go all out, you can make it into an actual, like, really pretty altar with, you know, things from your first anniversary, things from your first date, and stuff like that. Just make it, like, really good energy on your altar. Remember, our altar is the place where we conjure energy. So, I feel like you guys are being called to make a love altar and just really conjure up love energy. That is your psychic power. So I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Um, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll talk to you real soon. Bye. For everybody that picked card group number two or the Ganesh, Lakshmi, and Saraswati image, let's go ahead and see what comes up for you. What is your psychic gift? So the first card that we have is Breaking Trail. Okay, so something that I see for you guys is um, your psychic abilities are very sharp in your mind. Um, your, I feel like your crown chakra is very, very much awake and sometimes too awake, sometimes too active, where you kind of feel like you're going crazy or you kind of just feel like your mind is racing and you have so many different kinds of thoughts. You know, your mind has a lot of energy um, and you just, because of that, it's really easy for you to break through challenges and struggles and problems. Um, but the only thing that you kind of struggle with is your mind just over racing with energy, over active, overthinking, just a lot of energy up there. Um, 
So I feel like you guys, a lot of your psychic abilities have to do with your crown chakra, your mind. You're like this master of mind. Um, another thing I see, yes, this makes sense. You see this man right here? He's a hard worker. He will not sit down and be lazy. So you are one that does not surrender yourself to procrastination. You are not lazy. Um, that's and that's a that's kind of a um, symptom of people that have very overactive crown chakras is that their mind is just very fast. So um, let's get into how you can kind of t uh, tone that down so that you can find some peace in your mind. And let's go ahead and see how you can. Um, help people with this. This is a really good psychic ability that you have. Maturity. Because your mind is so fast, you've matured way beyond your years. And uh, I feel like a lot of people have even told you this, that you are very wise beyond your years. You're an old soul. Um, yeah, you just have this very old soul type of a feeling and the wisdom you carry. Um, because your mind is so quick and so fast and just constantly thinking and thinking and learning and growing and evolving um your mind does a lot of work and because of that it, people see you as wise beyond your years so that's actually really nice because one of another thing uh another gift of yours that is psychic is you have all of this wisdom because you have experienced and seen so much and your the way that your mind has um you know gained a reflection of the world it's people see it people don't even understand what it is but they see it in you and it's very psychic and magical the next card that comes up is comparison um, this is another thing that I see um, comparison with the number five so the number five in numerology is of course the number of change so definitely there is something changing here where i feel like you are comparing yourself to someone a specific person or someone in your life or a celebrity or something where you kind of wanted to embody certain of their traits and it i feel like um yeah you wanted to kind of embody some of their traits because you like sometimes there's people that we see that their personality or their style or whatever it really captivates us and we want to be like them like there's a certain aspect of them we really love and we want to embody that so i feel like what really happened is you became like very just kind of like hypnotized with somebody and just started to compare yourself to them and wanted to kind of embody a lot of their traits and what I want you to know with this reading is the reason that you wanted to embody that so much is because it you remembered something about yourself um, so don't compare yourself to that person know that you remembered something about yourself you don't have to try to embody that I feel like it's gonna come natural to you you're going to be very natural in being completely yourself and it's going to come just naturally you don't have to try it hard i feel like you try really hard um to like be a certain way and the message here is don't compare yourself to someone else and if you do if you get inspired by somebody know that you're remembering remembering something about yourself Another card that comes up is change. change. We were just talking about change. So there's a lot of inner changes going on within you right now. And these are inner changes that are actually strengthening and amplifying and awakening your, um, your psychic ability, which has everything to do with your crown chakra even more. Crown chakra is your connection to source, the divine. You know, it's a very powerful chakra because you have everything you think will manifest anger and chains. So your psychic abilities have a very powerful way of figuring out um, your blocks. Uh, I, because your mind is so fast, I feel like you can figure out what is stopping you and what is your obstacle and all that stuff really, really quickly. And I feel like for that reason, you don't get as mad. Or even if you get mad, you're very quickly able to resolve it in your mind. Um, and then move forward. 
So, like, you are not the one to allow yourself to be stuck in anger or in chains. That's interesting. So, yeah, you're very reconnected and very aligned with Source. That is your psychic gift. Another thing that I see here is the child that I was meant to be. So your psychic gifts um, are your psychic gifts allow you to be childlike. It allows you to want to play, and it allows you to want to have fun. So this is something that um, don't lose this. Don't don't give this up because this is you know every time that you do play and every time that you do have fun and give yourself something that you love you're actually activating your psychic abilities even more. Okay, the next card that comes up for you is experiments, manipulation of nature, forcing change. That's very interesting, forcing change, and then we have change, and we have, there's a lot of change happening right now, and you can feel it. The, I feel like the universe is really telling you, hey, I know there's changes. I know there's changes, but this is also to help just to help you connect with me 10 times more. Me, I mean like the universe, you know? Um, yeah, you're really connecting with something very, very big. You're becoming attuned and aligned to something very powerful. So keep going, um, you know, go with this change, flow with the change. The next card that I see here is Warrior Woman. How are you, how have you, or no, have you answered your deepest calling? Okay, so the changes that are happening right now, and then the reason that you find certain aspects of certain people very interesting is because you're coming into your calling. This is really interesting. You're coming into your own calling. Okay, so the last three cards are going to be about how you can strengthen this ability, the psychic ability of yours. So the first thing that comes up is dance, so movement. You need to allow your body to flow the way that it wants to flow. You know, just allow, yeah, that's the only way I could put it. Allow your body to do its thing. Allow your body, if you feel like dancing, then get up and dance. If you feel like my surroundings are so dirty, I want to get up and clean. Follow your body. Listen to your body. The next thing I see here is connect with your womb. So this is another one where, yes, connecting with your womb is where you allow your body to just move around, you know, your sacral chakra. Um, and it brings happiness and joy, and that's your creativity and creation um, energy that you hold within yourself. The last way you can activate this chakra is by using your hands. Yeah, this has a lot to do with your body, like you physically doing things, creating things, maybe making things, whatever it is. but. That's what's going to grow your psychic abilities even more. And it's really interesting that you pick Ganesh, Lakshmi, and Saraswati because they govern the mind. Saraswati is all about the mind, um, focus and mental clarity and all of that. So I hope that this reading gave you clarity. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. For everybody that picked card group number three or the Shiva image, let's go ahead and see what comes up for you. Okay. So, what are your psychic abilities? First card we have here is understanding. Okay, so whatever your psychic ability is, it gives you the ability to understand a lot of things and this in turn gives you a lot of power. Because when you can understand both sides of one situation, or if you can understand different perspects, per, perspectives of a problem, you understand more than the regular people do. Um, yeah, I feel like you have this very unique ability to look beyond um, and just see things beyond what it is and kind of able to decode things and able to see through things. Um, yeah. And I also see that you're a free spirit. So you don't like being told what to do. A lot of your psychic abilities have... Um, this thing like kind of getting offended if you're told what to do because it makes that psychic self um, feel like it's being demeaned or like pushed under and I feel like it's kind of almost like a trigger of something that happened in the past um, that that was the thing that actually awakened your psychic abilities um, so that's why that psychic self of you sometimes does get a little pissed off if it's told what to do. 
beyond illusion. So yes, you do see things beyond illusion. You don't like. I feel like you guys don't. You guys don't fall for lies. Or if somebody does lie to you, you know it. You sense it. Something tells you. You feel it in your gut. Like you're very intuitive when it comes to sensing what a situation truly is. Or um, you know, you you sense that kind of stuff. You sense the energy of why things happen. So I mean, very very strong a psychic gift right there and another thing here is moment to moment so this ability of yours kind of doesn't allow you to live moment to moment because you're always in the past or living in the future or thinking about this or like you're in some frame of time you know not really thinking about right now so um yeah you're the the stronger and stronger that your psychic ability gets I feel like you get so much in your head that you lose your ground you, you get you know you need to find a way to get grounded so that you you know are not so much in your head okay so the next card that comes up for you is surrender to rest and sleep this is a message saying that it's okay for you to rest and sleep because your psychic abilities have so much to do with your mind and you you know your ability to sense things um it's important that you do surrender yourself to sleep and rest you know i feel like you feel very guilty and sometimes your mind doesn't even allow you to sleep and rest but find a way to relax your mind and calm and, and rest and sleep because it's really going to benefit you unbound okay releasing soul patterns contracts and past lives i feel like this is a huge reason why i felt that energy that you don't like being told what to do because this is something that is like has to do a lot with your past life um you are releasing a lot of old soul patterns which means like probably generational things that you carried with you that were blocking your psychic abilities maybe this psychic ability was in your whole family lineage, but nobody could work through things to unlock it, you know? And now you're here after generations, you'll probably be the first of many in your family to finally awaken and unlock your psychic abilities, which, yeah, that's what I'm seeing. Dreams. Okay, so a lot of your psychic abilities have to do with dreams. So pay attention to your dreams. Um, write your dreams down. You can decode your dreams. Um, after you have your dreams, you can just um, Google it, whatever you saw in your dreams, colors, numbers, whatever. Um, another thing that I see is jellyfish. So here uh, I see that you like to protect yourself a lot, and it has a lot to do with your 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 psychic abilities, which are all in your head, and sometimes it gets so overactive that it's just again like i said all in your head sometimes you create images in your head and, and scenarios in your head that ha that are actually created from fears of your you know that stem from your past so there's a lot that i feel like you're working through right now too uh, where you know you're learning to come back to this moment and also learning um that you don't need to protect yourself as much as you do the next card i see here is the temple of my body Okay, so both of these cards are very like you're trying to protect yourself. And in that, you are kind of coming off as cruel to other people, where other people want to help and genuinely care about you and love you, but you kind of stand guarded. Um, and you don't really let anybody in. And a lot of it is in your head. So I feel like the universe is trying to tell you to go into, go into that space in your head. Shiva goes into the deepest darkest spaces in his head um go into that space and it's okay let the thoughts come it's okay to heal think about things cry about things let thoughts come out you know journal it out or um you know express yourself another thing that i see for you guys is narrow pathway tread thoughtfully yeah because of your ability to understand so much and because you see so many sides of so many different things there's a lot of fears that come up with that too i feel like because you guys are so in intuitive and so in your head that you also live in your fears you know you let the negativity come in sometimes too but i feel like you're learning you're getting a grip and a you're really getting control on your psychic ability and learning to control that power in your mind 
Okay, and another thing that I see for you guys is distant thunder clear the air. So yeah, that's what's going on right now. I feel like a lot of you guys are feeling like you're just being cracked open and there's just chaos around and just things are just going so crazy. But it's just clearing the air um, for something very, very beautiful, for a lot of power in your mind. And another, so the last two cards are ways that you can enhance and amplify your gift. So we have here positive affirmations in beauty rituals. This has a lot to do with your physical body. I feel like you're being called to start taking care of your physical body a lot, lot more, um, which means like pamper yourself sometimes. Do a face mask, hair mask, do your nails, you know, do it because it's going to strengthen your psychic abilities. And also positive off positive affirmations, which means just as much as you can, when you catch yourself talking to yourself like in your own head and stuff, watch what you are saying. Make sure that it's positive. So I hope you guys found this helpful and it gave you clarity. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. For everybody that picked card group number four or the Kali image, let's go ahead and see what are your psychic gifts. Okay, so the first card that comes up is in past. So reflect and redirect your energy. Okay, so your psychic gifts have a lot to do with being able to see change and sense I don't know, I get the feeling that you, if you notice that something is off and something is wrong, you're the type that will just go to work instantly you to change it, to, it's almost like you're, you have this alchemical energy, like the alchemy, the alchemist kind of an energy where if you see that something is wrong or if you see that something is not like necessarily going the way you want it to, you will either start a ritual or you will do something to create change and to get your way. Um, you're very strong in that sense, which I see your psychic abilities have a lot to do with your third eye. And your third eye is everything to do with your intuition and to manifest and to bring things into our physical reality. We use our third eye. Um, so yeah, I, I see that your third eye is pretty strong and you you're able to see and sense a lot of things and not only that but you can manifest very very quickly um another thing that i see for you guys is surrender to setting limits you don't set limits for yourself when your third eye is awakened you will not set limits for yourself you will not tell yourself no and you will not say that you know um, I can't do this. So that's something that comes from your psychic side, from your psychic abilities. The next thing that I see is clinging to past change. Again, you're very good at changing and creating change and creating transformation, um, which results in manifestation. Like you're very good at manifesting. So it's very important that you don't cling on to things from the past that may get in between you and your psychic gifts because you have to remember that your mind is creating at a very fast pace. Um, so it's not beneficial for you to hold on to things from the past that is that are not healthy and that just don't serve you anymore. It's time to let those things go. And harmony. I feel like with this card, you are letting these things go. It is a change occurring within you where you're releasing a lot of the past and you're just coming into harmony with yourself. This is really beautiful. The energy that I'm getting from you guys is just coming into calmness. It's like you're stepping from a war zone into calmness. That's your transition right now. Um, the next card that comes up for you guys is Triumph of Lies. So a lot of the lies that you have been telling yourself, I feel like you guys are being awakened to it. You guys are seeing a lot of the, yeah, the lies that you were telling yourself. And it, it's, it's painful to see all of that, but also I feel like you feel so free. And that's what's helping you release the past and come into the present with yourself and come into harmony with yourself. Then we have alone in the world. Yeah, you were feeling very, very alone in the world and your third eye is so strong that people looked at you, like people thought you were weird for the things you liked and for the way you acted and behaved. So. You always felt like you were alone in the world and now you're fine. I feel like you, you're finding your community and you're not feeling so alone. And 
you know, the number six is when we go, in numerology, it's, it's like when you go against society, when you go against the brain, or when you are unlearning something that was not vibrationally aligned with you. So that's another energy that is coming in. Um, the next card is sanctuary. You thrive alone. I feel like you guys are the type that you love your alone time and love just taking baths and take just relaxing and just being alone and doing something that you like and just doing it alone you love that um and that's that psychic side of you that loves it that's because your third eye is so strong the next card i see here is a return of aphrodite temple birth of the goddess guidance goddess energy and treating a sacred so yeah you are not one that kind of completely neglects yourself you know you always do take yourself into consideration um you do um how do i say you value your body uh, as, as much as you value your spirit and this is very beautiful i get a very very good energy from you guys where you guys are learning to love yourselves again and just becoming your own friend again okay so the next card that we have is mid taken longing for home belonging the, the original light workers. Okay, so yeah, third eye has a lot to do with light workers. You guys can see things, you guys can manifest things, you guys can create change. The last two cards are ways that you can amplify this energy in your life. The ways that you can amplify your psychic gifts in your life. We have intuition and deep breathing. So I feel like, I, I get the feeling that a lot of you guys have not tried this. Um, so I feel like you're being called to try a lot of deep breathing. You know, next time you feel so angry or just really anxious or sad or just really off, try to take a few deep breaths. Sometimes it just feels really good to inhale it and then just exhale the bad, you know? Um, try breathing exercises. Try just taking deep breaths. You can go on YouTube and find like breathing exercises or breathing yoga. But yeah, I feel like breathing is something that you need to focus on because it's going to help bring you back to the present moment. So you're not just like all over the place. Um, and intuition. Another way that you can enhance your psychic ability is your third eye is um, your intuition. Build it. Trust it. Follow it. And explore it. You know, uh, test it. Uh, you have extreme manifesting abilities so you test it you know try to manifest the little things and then try to manifest the big things have fun with it um so i hope that this gave you clarity and you guys found some guidance thank you so much for watching have a great weekend bye